This morning I had a little spare time and so Jan's in town with some appointments and I drove up to this lake. Take a look at it. Just stunning. Up in the middle of the Cascade Mountains in southern Oregon and I, I just needed to get away and uh, try a little fishing. I haven't had any luck this year. I'm not quite the fisherman, but I just enjoy getting out here and I don't really care if I go home with a fish or not. That's why I think there are fish markets and for guys like me. <laughs> uh, what I want to process with you just to, as I look at this beautiful simplicity out here is that we're in a season right now where the world is really complicated. There's a lot of currents and subcurrents going on even in the church and um, people are thinking through things again and it's getting complicated. Uh, all this because Reformation is in the air. And in a time of Reformation, it's so important that you become simple. Simple in your faith, simple in your theology, even. Simple in how you conduct life and maybe what you do with your spare time, like I'm doing right now. Because when things begin to move rapidly, there's going to be a, a need to hold on to what's simple, because most everything will be challenged. And I want to encourage you today to just uh, find a place. You might not be uh, living where you can do what I'm doing right now. But there's that place of quiet in your living room or take a walk around the block, get in your car, take a drive, and just dial down a little bit. Prepare yourself. Things are going to rapidly accelerate, and when they begin to rapidly accelerate, those that are worn thin uh, will suffer undue breakage. To thicken up your life, and I mean thicken up in a positive way, it has to be simple. And I'm going to say to you today what I would say to you uh, at any other time in your life. Find those simple places. They become like cartilage between you and the toughness and the, and the hardness of life. Let uh, simplicity uh, be really a goal for you right now. Return to the first love, the first love in all things, even uh, your relationship with a spouse, a friend, your relationship with the church, but most importantly with the Lord. Uh, the simple, the first love, that's what's going to get you through this time. God bless you. And another quick peek at the lake out here. Isn't that great? Not a wind out there at all, and apparently not a fish. Take care.